in this video i'm going to focus on achieved question uh, on the topic of sequence and series uh, these questions have been taken from mc level 2 exam on sequence and series from 2010 paper okay so let's read the question arnold melee peter and sam are four friends who attended gym uh, Ar arnold began or begins the weight training program by lifting 150 kg in the first week, 152 in the second, 154 in the third. He increases the amount he is lifting by the same amount of kilograms each week. How many kilograms does he lift in the tenth week? So let's write, let's write the sequence. So the sequence goes like this. So he starts at 150. Then he starts, uh, he, pick, uh, he lifts 152, 154 and so on so it's a good practice to write the sequence so that you have a feeling of thing so here by looking at the sequence or the pattern of these numbers they are increasing by two okay so this tells me that this is an arithmetic sequence there are two or many types of sequences but at mc level two you have uh, only two sequences that you're learning one is called an arithmetic sequence, which is a sequence which increases by the same amount by adding. It can also increase or decrease, okay? So increasing or decreasing by the same amount. And the geometric sequence is where it's increasing or decreasing uh, by multiplying. Okay, here it's increasing by adding. So what do we mean by that? Uh, this is increasing by adding two. Okay, so this is called an arithmetic sequence. So the formula for an arithmetic sequence, if you want to find the nth term of a sequence, is this formula. So let me write that formula again. So Tn, the question is you want to find how much does he lift or how much kilogram will he lift during the 10th week. So this is the first week, this is the second week, this is the third week. If you go on to the 10th week, you can get the answer but yeah, they're expecting you to use a formula. So Tn is A plus N minus 1 times T. So where A is your first term, so let's write what's A. A is the first term, which is 150. And D is the common difference. D stands for difference, and the common difference is plus 2. So we'll write only 2. And the question is we want to find T10 is the question. So from this I can say my n, if I do the pattern matching, n is 10. So if you write Tn, in this case can we write Tn, or oh sorry T10, T10 would be A, what's A? A is 150 plus n is 10, so 10 minus 1 times D which is 2. Here, you should be very careful. You have to use bed mass. First, you have to simplify the bracket. So it's 150 plus 9 times 2. Now, once you've done, uh, simplified the bracket, the next order of operation is to multiply. Don't add and multiply. You have to multiply and then add. So this is 150 plus 18, which is 168 kg. So the answer is, in the 10th week, he lifts... 168 kg. Let's move on. The total kilogram, so the total number of kilograms that Mele lifts during the first five weeks of her program can be written by this sigma notation. This is called sigma, so this is, I'll write this bigger. Sigma, how do you read this? This is n from 1 to 5. This is how you read sigma where n runs from 1 to 5 of this formula, that is 220n plus 120. So basically sigma stands, wherever you have the word, or the, this Greek letter sigma, that stands for summation okay, or addition. The known word or its addition. You have to add something. So what do you have to add? Okay, so I'll explain. You have to add uh, you have to add, uh, say, 
end from 1 to 5. So I'll explain what I mean. I'm not very clear. So this is not what I want. So let me use this violet color. So this means this is you have to put n from 1 to 5 in this formula. So first n is 1. So the formula is 20 times n plus 1. So I'll write 20 times 1 plus 120. Sigma stands for summation, so you have to add plus, which is the next n. The next n is 2, so 20 times 2 plus 120. Plus the third n is 3. So this is 20 times 3 plus 120 plus you have to go up to 5. So 20 times 4 plus 120. We're almost there. Plus 20 times 5 plus 120. Okay, I'm not explaining what's the maths behind it, but if you think about it, this is a formula of sum of a particular pattern. I'll explain in the next step. So this is 20. You have to first multiply and then add. So 20 plus 120 is 140. Next is 20 times 2 is 40 plus 120 is 160. I want you to look at a pattern that's developing. This is 60 plus 120 which is 180. This is 80 plus 120 which is 200. And 20 times 5 is 100. 100 plus this is 220. This is 220. Okay. So can you see a pattern this? This is the sum of a pattern from 140 to 220, which is increasing in 20s. Basically, this formula is the formula of, or this is, this formula gives you an arithmetic sequence starting from 140 to 150, 220. So basically, what is this formula telling me? Mele starts at, in the first week, she started with 140 kg, and in the fifth week, she uh, lifted 220 kg. Basically, they're asking you to add it. Okay, so let us get the calculator out. You can do without the calculator, but I'm a bit so lazy. So let me use my calculator. So menu, run. You go 140 plus 160 plus 180 plus 200 plus 220 equal 900. So in five weeks, she lifted 900 kg. Okay. So let me move on to the next question. I think we'll finish with this question. Peter increases the amount he lifts in the same, by the same number of kilograms each kg. So this is also giving me the hint. This is an arithmetic sequence. Okay, so during the fifth week, he lifts 236 kg. So they are telling me that T5 is 236 kg. I'm not writing the unit. And in the ninth week, he is lifting 252 kg. So the difference, as you know, in an arithmetic sequence, uh, let me go back. In an arithmetic sequence, it increases by 2. So 152 is 150 plus 2. 154 is 150 plus 4. So this, if you write the next sequence, is 156. So this is, the next num number is adding one difference, or 1D. This number you get by adding 2D. Okay. So what I'm saying is, yeah, this is the fifth term and this is the ninth term. So there is a difference of 6 seven eight nine so this is this plus 4d this let me write that so t9 what am i saying is should be t5 plus 4d in other words t uh, t9 minus t5 will give me four difference or you can also see the you can do the pattern matching and understand yourself okay Okay, let me go back. I'm not happy with my explanation here. So what am I saying is 152 is 150 plus 1 times the difference, which is 2. And 154 
is 150 plus 2 times the difference, which is 2. 150 plus 4 is 154. Hopefully, I'm clear. So, let me put this back. So, this is 252 minus 236 is equal to 4D. So, this is 16, isn't it? Uh, 250. Uh, let me confirm. 252 minus 2. Oh, I always like to check my answer. 16, yeah. So, 4D, uh, 4D is 60, which implies D is 4. So, the common difference is 4. Now, the question is, what amount did he lift in the 12th week? So, we know D. Now, we need to find A. So, let me write T5. T5 is 236. So T5, this is your Tn. So can I write T5? No, I'll remove this. T5 is A plus, if you put phi in this formula, phi minus 1 is 4D. So T5 is A plus 4D. So I'm going to put, we know to T5 is 236 is equal to A plus 4D. I already know 4D is 16. If I take away or think logically, what 16 plus what gives you 236? So this implies A is uh, 220. So your first term is 220. My, now my question is, you want to find how much he lifts in the 12th week. So let me finish it here. So I know A is 220 and D is 4. So I, I can say T12, if I put in this formula, it is A plus 11D. You have to go one less than N, okay, which is 220 plus 11 times 4, okay, which is nothing but 220 plus 44. So T12, on the 12th week, Peter is lifting 264 kg. That's your answer. I'll continue doing a few more examples of achieved of uh, sequence and see, see in the next video.